Hey guys, we're at the cast and creators of Riverdale, and this is the EP Roberto. How are you? I am really happy to be here. Good, good. So Archie was one of my favorite comics growing up. Why add the murder mystery element into it? Um, well, first of all, let me say that Archie is also my was my favorite comic book um, growing up. You know, I I, I think that. Um, for a lot of people who don't know Archie as well as maybe you or I do, they think of Archie as kind of being set in the 50s always. Or they're like, oh no, that's like a 1940s um, um, comic book. Or even worse, they're like, do they still publish Archie? Um, uh, um, I think it's so important to keep all of these characters really, really relevant. And in comic books, um, you know, the old Archies, they were jokes, basically. Like, they'd be, there'd be one-page stories or a four-page story. Uh, with television, you do really want to tell a story that's serialized, that kind of carries you through episode uh, to episode. And um, when we started talking about Riverdale, we were like, this is a coming-of-age story. Um, and it's like a John Hughes coming-of-age yeah. story. But it's also a coming-of-age story the way that Stand By Me is a coming-of-age story. And that's, of course, about four boys who are becoming teenagers who decide that they're going to go to the woods to see, to find a dead body. Yeah. And, and I thought, well, in a way, every coming-of-age story is a loss of innocence story. So I thought, oh, maybe there's a way to harness that into kind of a, a mystery where the kids kind of see the town for what it is for the first time or or they see or they see their parents in a way and it felt like adding a mystery element to it um, and 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 having it center around one of their classmates would really bring that home also there's like the fun I mean listen like I love Pretty Little Liars and and there's a lot of precedent for this I love Twin Peaks it's one of the inspirations for this and and remember Twin Peaks started with the death of the high school homecoming queen so it felt like 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 there was a way to kind of combine these elements into something that was a little newer and a little fresher. Yeah, it also seemed like very much your voice. You wrote the screenplay for the new Carrie movie, yeah, the definitely. American Cycle musical, yeah. you did the script. How, is it going to be that dark, like Carrie dark? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, n no, it is It is hopefully not going to be as dark as Carrie. No pig's blood. No pig's blood yet. But, 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 um, although, Spoiler. We, although we are, although we are doing a big Halloween episode that will be very, very scary. Um, no, you're right. Like my sensibilities kind of do, do, uh, uh, you know, tend to go towards the macabre or, or the, the little offbeat, um, and, and, and the genre things. Like I love noir. I love crime stories. Um, like I'm a huge fan of Fargo, the miniseries. Like I kept, I kept saying, you know, this is like a teen Fargo. And uh, so that is my sensibilities. Awesome. Okay, last question. You said it was your favorite growing up. Who's your favorite character? Tell me Jughead. No? I, lo I love Jughead. Um, I would say probably Betty. Um, um, I, I just, you know, um, I, I, I think, you know, she's like in, a, in, in the universe of the show where, where a lot of the characters are compromised or they make bad decisions or they, they are wrestling with good and bad. I feel like Betty is good. And I really like that moral compass, and I, I really hung on to that. And I think, um, you know, at the beginning of the pilot, she's so shy and reserved and quiet. Um, and, and really the story of, of season one is her finding her confidence and her voice as a young woman. And I think it, by the end, hopefully she'll have proved herself to be the kind of the bravest and most resourceful of the kids. Oh my God, well, I can't wait to see it on screen. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Thank yeah, you. Thanks.